definitely not what I expected. Why am I putting myself through this? And I made the decision to move back home. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> St <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you're very, very well. So today, here I am with a story time. I've never talked about this on my channel before, but I thought you might find it interesting to hear about people's different journeys and things, and that people's journeys in acting isn't always, you know, straightforward and easy and normal, and I'm gonna share mine. If you don't know me, by the way, my name is Amy. I make a lot of theatre content here on YouTube, and I talk a lot about my interest in acting and then also sometimes about being an actor as well Um, obviously we're in a pandemic so I haven't done a lot of acting recently I've done a few auditions in lockdown and I wanted to quickly talk about Backstage who are very kindly sponsoring this video so if you don't know Backstage is basically all about casting for actors it's like a website where they basically list loads of auditions for actors and things and while a lot of theatre is closed there is still a lot of screen acting and things still going on I get so many questions like how do you find auditions where can I find auditions how can I be an actor I have got an agent so my agents submit me for roles and auditions and things but I always keep an eye on backstage they have a lot of stuff that is like worldwide so for example they have loads of auditions for companies like HBO NBC Amazon Studios there's literally so much on there so it's great for, for at the moment while we're at home and and there's options to like submit self tapes which is where you do your audition on screen that you like film and then send in but honestly they've got so many opportunities on there they've got like work from home jobs they've got voiceover opportunities so it's definitely worth checking it out there's also things where you can like watch live streams with casting directors and acting coaches and fitness and wellness coaches as well so I am a backstage user myself I have my own account on backstage as I say even if you've got an agent it's great for being proactive active in you know trying to get those jobs trying to get that acting work so I've left a link down below that gives you your first month for only five dollars so head on over as I say I will leave a link down below it's great okay let's get into talking about drama school just need to say this is no bash into the school this is my personal experience so many people have different experiences than me and this isn't a diss to the school in any way I feel like I need loads of backstory and everything so basically when I was 18 I finished college and my intention was to go to drama school. Auditioned for Arts Ed, GSA and Mount View. I really disliked Arts Ed. As soon as I went in I was like, you just get a vibe for somewhere and I was like, this is not my place. You know, it's nothing against it. Obviously it's one of the best institutions in the UK but I was just like, this is not for me. I auditioned for GSA which I always wanted to get into, sadly didn't. And then I auditioned for Mount View and after my recall I then didn't get in but they suggested auditioning for for the foundation. To be honest, when I look back, I'm like, I'm surprised I even got a recall because my audition was not good. And I had a lot of growing up to do as well. So then I went on holiday with my parents and I was like, wait, <laughs> this is my first time in my life in September where I've been like, I don't know what I'm doing. I had no plan basically. I, I worked at Pizza Hut. I can't just not do anything. I have to be in education. I've never not been in education. And the idea of a September coming around and me not starting something new or being at school or something gave me like such anxiety and stress. I researched the foundation course, asked my parents if it was going to be viable to pay for it and applied. So then I came back to England and I did the audition. The audition was so strange like after I finished the audition it was quite it was quite a small group there wasn't loads of people there like there was for the BA course and also it was quite late in the year so I think that they had got a lot of people already on the course it was for like the last one or two places. When I finished my audition I was with my mum in the car on the way back to Blackpool from London and I got a phone call from the head of the course and he phoned me and he was like I just wanted to let you know that we loved you so much that we want to let you know that you've got in and we didn't want you to have to wait for your letter to arrive. So I was like made up. I was like do you know what I didn't get into the full three year course but I'm on this foundation and the head of the course liked me so much that he called me to let me know it's gonna be great so then I had to move to London I'd never lived alone before and because as I say this was in the summer right before stuff was 
about to start. So, so many people already had their housing sorted. Also, because I wasn't on a full-time course, it was only three days a week, I had to still pay council tax and things. Basically, in the UK, if you're a student, you don't have to pay for council tax. But if I was sharing with other students, I would have had to pay the council tax for a full house. So it would have been a lot of money that 18-year-old Amy with no job in London couldn't afford. So Mountain View do these things. I don't know if they still do them, but it was like called an accommodation day. So loads of people from all different courses who were going to be starting in September went down to Mount View and kind of played some getting to know you games. And then the intention was to pick some random people that you'd met 10 minutes ago and be like, shall we live together? And then go out into the streets to go and find a house or a flat or something by going to estate agents. And I was like, this is stressful. So I did the meet and greet thing and my parents had gone with me and whilst I was doing the kind of getting to know you games and things, my parents got chatting to some people who were graduates of that year from Mount View. So three people who had just done the three year BA course and one of the guys had got a European tour so was going off and needed somebody to fill his room. So it was going to be good because the other two girls were going to be paying council tax so I wouldn't have to pay for everybody. It was very close proximity to Mount View. The people I was going to be moving in with were like well established in the area. They knew it. They could give me recommendations and they were a little bit older so they could kind of keep an eye on me and things and it felt like the best fit. So I ended up moving in with them and then I started the course. It was definitely not what I expected. I only include all that stuff because I think people might be interested in how you end up finding where you're going to live and all that stuff. So I I started the course and it just wasn't what I expected, to be honest. I had had this goal for so many years of wanting to go to Mount View and drama school and even though I wasn't on the full course, I was still on kind of like a condensed course and it's definitely sold as like, this will prepare you for the three year course. So basically, as soon as we started, they were like, right, you need to apply for the three year course and do it right away, basically. So we all applied after having like maybe two three weeks of classes. Our auditions were planned. I auditioned for the next year's three-year course in November after being there for two months. And to be honest, in that two months, I really didn't learn a huge amount. The dance training was actually a lot better than I expected. And I would have said the best thing about the course that I was on. We learned things like the audition dance that we were going to do in the audition for the three-year course. So it gives you a little bit of a leg up. That's the whole intention. That's why we paid all this money money to do this course because our goal at the end is to go on and go on to the three-year course. That's how it was definitely like sold to us. The singing over the year sometimes was good, sometimes not so great, but the acting for me personally, I'm a massive overthinker. I overthink everything. It's one of my worst traits and I'm so aware of it and it's always been a thing that I found really difficult with acting because I always, my brain always tells me that I need to think of a better option. So we were doing this exercise very, very early on where we had to basically like pull imaginary things out of a box and my brain just couldn't kind of compute this. I'm finding this really difficult to explain, but basically like I was doing this exercise and I was overthinking so much that it was basically taking all creativity out of my head. Rather than the acting teacher kind of unpacking that and trying to help me through that, said, you'll never be a good actor. If you can't do this, you may as well give up. And I just don't think you should say that to somebody ever, especially not right at the beginning of a training course to an 18 year old who is just starting out in the world. Do you know what I mean? My confidence was like completely shot from so many things that happened. Like we were doing a dance class and I wasn't overweight. Like I'm I'm a little chunky now, but I wasn't overweight at the time. We were all sat down and the dance teacher was like, Amy, you need to decide whether you're going to put on more weight and be, be the comedy actor or if you're going to, you know, if you're going to lose weight and you're going to, you know, be a leading lady. And she said that to me in front of the entire class when there wasn't an, even a discussion about about cast 
responsibility. It was just like, just a general kind of debrief of the class. And then suddenly it was like, right, so Amy, let's in front of all these other people talk about your weight, which just felt so wrong to me. So generally I just didn't feel the most confident on the course. As I say, my audition was in November. I'd been there for two months. I really hadn't learned a huge amount in two months. You know, in a course that's three times a week for two months, you're not gonna have massive changes. But I was like, I'm on the course, that's the next step to get onto the three year. I didn't even get a recall. So I actually did worse than the year before. One person in my foundation course got onto the three year course, one person. The people who were in that course, various ones of them have been in the West End since, went on to drama school. So it doesn't even mean that those people weren't talented and weren't, weren't good. I don't know, I just think the whole thing wasn't very well planned out. And then we all did our audition and then it was like, right, what do we do for the rest of the year? Because, as to say one one girl had got onto the course and I don't know I feel like everybody then was feeling a little bit dejected with it I certainly was as well as well as that I also had to work in London full-time to support myself I had some difficulties with finding work at first I got like a transfer to a different pizza hut and it was horrendous the way that I was spoken to by the other staff members was just ridiculous. I quit after a week because it was just awful. And then I got a job in Build a Bear. And I worked in Build a Bear like full time. It was crazy hours. And then Build a Bear, it was just making no money. So they were like, right, you're down to three hours a week. <laughs> It's like, how am I supposed to live of three hours a week? I got a job at Planet Hollywood and we had to do like all these tests and things, like learning the menu and I learned every item on that menu and we did a quiz and they said no one's ever got 100% before other than you and I was like, I work hard. And then after about a week of working there, they brought me upstairs and they said, listen, we've hired too many people. So because you are the last in, you have to be the first to go. So um, you don't have a job anymore. Generally, I was just struggling. Do you know what I mean? It was just not going great for me. The girls I lived with were fine, but also I always felt inadequate. One of my housemates was singing a song one day and I was like, oh my God, what is that? It's so nice. And she was like, I'm not gonna tell you. And I was like, oh, okay, why? And she said, it's my song, it's my audition song. I sing it for everything and it's great for me and you're not allowed to take it. And I was like, no offense, you're a graduate. You're going to auditions. I'm not at the moment. I'm in training. I'm not trying to steal your song. I don't know, it was just always things like that. It was like never easy. I just really struggled a lot that year. And as I say, I, I was quite a young 18 year old. I, it just definitely wasn't right for me. I made some great friends on the course, people that I'm still friends with now. You know, it wasn't all bad, but it definitely wasn't all good. And about like two months before the end of the course, we were working on our end of year show and, and I like got an awful part. And I don't think that you should just quit something if you get a bad part. But I was just like, why am I putting myself through this? And it was around that time that I also lost my job at Planet Hollywood. So I had no job and I really wasn't enjoying Mount View. And I made the decision to move back home and go and live with my parents kind of reevaluate, reassess, get some money together, do some classes, you know, just generally kind of rejuvenate. It just wasn't right for me and it just felt like a waste of money. It felt like I was slogging through life to be at a school that I wasn't enjoying being at. So I made the decision to to leave, which is very not a me thing to do. Like I'm not a person who really gives up on things and especially like an education thing or something that I'm like learning learning from or classes and things. I, I've never really been a person to like just stop doing something. I'll always see it through to the end. It just wasn't what I expected and it just didn't feel like I should be putting myself through this stress to go somewhere that I didn't want to be. I tried looking through my Facebook to see if I'd done a post that was like, guys, <laughs> I'm leaving London. And I didn't do one of those posts, but I did have a lot of Facebook posts around that time, like really struggling with Mount View today, really not liking Mount View, finally starting to like drama school again, really struggling again. It did show that I was very much in a place of, of just not being happy and it just didn't feel worth it. So I left 
before the show. I did go back and I watched the show and I supported my friends and and yeah that is the story of why I dropped out of drama school. I then went back home, worked in a high school for a little bit in a finance department which is ridiculous because I can't count and I used to be in charge of all the money for all the school trips. I don't even know how that happened. But anyway <laughs> and then I went off and I ended up going to London College of Music in the end. You know I know a lot of people who have been to Mount View and done the BA course and have really positive things to say about it. So this is just my experience as I say and you know those people have said good and bad things about it. Everybody has a different experience. For me it just wasn't right and maybe if I'd have done the three year course it would have been different but for me the foundation definitely wasn't worth it. I know foundations at some places are great so this also isn't me saying to never do a foundation course or anything. Just my personal experiences with it and yeah so that was my story. I'd be interested to know if you've ever had experiences with, with that kind of thing. Have you ever dropped out of anywhere? You know, I felt really ashamed after leaving and it wasn't a decision that I took lightly and sometimes it helps to see other people have gone through those experiences. You know, I then took like two years away. You know, everybody's journey is different at the end of the day, but screw those people at Planet Hollywood, man. All their fault. <laughs> I genuinely think if I hadn't lost my job at Planet Hollywood, I probably would have stayed on, but it was just like I had so much struggle finding work that year but anyway thank you so much for watching as I say go and click the link in my description down below for five dollars to sign up for backstage for loads of auditions all over the world and thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you're all well looking after yourselves and take care I will see you soon bye